Hi everyone. Before we begin our video today on this important topic, we have a favor to ask. We're releasing a series of videos on mental health recovery stories to inspire others on the road to recovery. We're hoping you could turn on your notification bell. If you did, let us know and we'll send you a free e-magazine as well if you email us. We often forget that mental health challenges are sometimes invisible. No matter how happy someone might appear or how confident they might seem, we never really know what's going on deep inside. When it comes to mental health, people often hide what they're going through. Here are seven silent facts about people struggling with their mental illnesses. Statistically speaking, men are much more likely to successfully commit suicide. Unfortunately, they're also much less likely to seek help for things like depression and suicidal thoughts. This has been confirmed by multiple studies, and it's a real challenge in the world of mental health. Men typically seem to view mental health challenges as a sign of weakness. There is a large stigma behind being emotional, especially if you're a man. I'm reminded of the phrase, man up, grow a pair, especially if you're encountering some struggles. This causes a lot of men to suffer in silence, rather than getting the help that they need. For this reason, men are often unwilling to seek help or even talk about what they're going through. People with antisocial disorder typically show no regard for right and wrong, especially in regards to how their actions impact others. There are many barriers when trying to address these issues, but one of the most challenging factors is also the simplest. People with antisocial disorder just don't want to admit they're struggling. Medical professionals have also discovered that people with antisocial disorder frequently lie about their symptoms while denying that they need help. Sometimes they're just not aware of how much they're hurting others. However, they might still seek help for things like depression, anxiety, and outbursts, which are all common among people with this diagnosis. Before we continue to the next point, we want to share with you an exciting new product we're launching. The main character and mascot of our channel, Sai, will soon be available as a soft and squishy plushie. They are now available for pre-order with a goal of 100 initial orders. Once that goal is reached, production will start, and if not, refunds will be made. Proceeds will go towards creating more quality videos. You can find the link to the pre-order in the description. Thank you for your support. Now, back to the video. Eating disorders in men are more common than many realize. The problem is that, once again, males are more likely to stay silent as they deal with their mental health. Studies have looked into this phenomenon extensively, and some believe that men feel that there's social stigma attached to eating disorders. The commonly held belief is that disorders like bulimia and anorexia only affect women. This is a product of toxic masculinity and how the patriarchy perpetuates toughness and not caring about one's body image, while also putting out constant images of muscular, sculpted men as desirable. People struggling with addictions are very likely to experience strong denial. Many studies have looked into this, and it's actually more complicated than you might think. Obviously, continuous denial allows the addict to continue using, without intervention or medical treatment. But new studies have discovered that abuse of certain substances like cocaine and alcohol might impair frontostriatal systems of the brain. These parts of the brain are responsible for self-awareness, which means the addicts might be genuinely unaware that they even have a problem, due to the effect of the substance on the brain. This could completely change the way we look at future treatment of addiction. A number of interesting studies have looked into how mental illness is handled among ethnic minorities in America. One study looked at four separate minority groups and found that all of them experienced a double stigma. The idea is that those groups are already suffering from discrimination and social stigma for being a minority, so the addition of mental health issues is additional stigma that's increasingly hard to deal with. Many additional studies have discovered that minority group members are significantly more likely to delay or forego needed mental health care when compared to whites. Dementia is one of the most daunting mental health challenges that we face today, and it's something that mainstream medicine is working hard to treat. 
But one of the biggest barriers to treatment is the fact that many people with dementia are completely unaware of their own condition. Specifically, these patients seem to be unaware of their own memory issues. This makes sense, for obvious reasons. They essentially can't remember that they can't remember. These patients are often unaware of their own cognitive condition in general. Do you have personal experiences with mental health challenges? Do you remember a time when a mental health challenge was hard to spot or seemingly invisible? Let us know in the comments below.